everyone, Andrew here, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be looking at Popeye the Panorama Screen Game & Watch. This is something I just actually picked up recently. I know I just did a whole 30 days worth of Game & Watch reviews, so it's funny that, you know, this one kind of came in right after that, but such is the life of a Game & Watch collector. You just never know when you're going to come across these cool things. And one thing that people uh, were asking me throughout that month was if we were going to be looking at any Popeye Game & Watches, so I figured, you know what? Uh, I think it'd be really cool to do that today, and we never really looked at many panorama screen Game & Watches throughout that month, because the only other one I owned prior to this was Donkey Kong Jr., so I thought uh, this would be cool to take a look at. Hopefully everyone's not burned out on Game & Watches at this point. I received so many positive comments and such on you know, the videos that I did, so thank you all so much who reached out for that, and even some emails as well. I'm so happy I was able to spread the word on just how cool Game & Watches are, and yeah, I hope you enjoy this video as well. So this is Popeye panorama screen. All right, so here we are, close up with the Popeye Game & Watch, which looks a lot like the Donkey Kong Jr. one, except for the fact that it has a green design instead of a white outside, and it does not have a D-pad, but rather one of these left and right buttons, uh, because that's the only movement that's required in this game, but otherwise, it's pretty much identical to Donkey Kong Jr., uh, if you saw that review. And, of course, these games work by you lift up the screen here until it snaps into place, but you do want to be very gentle with it just like that, and you can see the screen inside, but what's actually happening is it's being projected from the top onto the bottom, and it almost looks like it's backlit, but what's really happening is that light is passing through, hey, you can see me, uh, this white panel at the top, so if you cover that up, you actually can't see the screen, which is really neat. So unfortunately, you know, as neon and glow-in-the-dark mini-golf-ish as it looks, you cannot play it in the dark, unfortunately. Uh, and of course, just like with any Game & Watch, we have Game A, B, and the time buttons there. So we're going to zoom in, get a nice good view of that screen, and we're going to check out the game. That should give you a nice good look of what's going on, and of course, just like with any Game & Watch, we have to set the time before we can get into things, and then by pressing the time button, we can get a bit of a demo where uh, we can see what the game is like. Popeye is fighting off against Bluto in an attempt to save olive oil. Of course, a very classic Popeye scenario. Uh, depending on if you play on Game A or Game B or not, on Game B, that swordfish will kind of go along the bottom and stab up through the holes in the bridge. Or maybe, maybe it's like a dock or something like that. Probably a dock, I guess there's a boat right there. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, um, you'll see how it goes. I like that, uh, you know, it tries to recreate the Popeye music there. Uh, so yes, we want to punch uh, Bluto, which pushes him back, without getting punched ourselves, which will push us back. So in that way, it actually kind of reminds us of the uh, Micro Versus System boxing game. And after punching him enough times, he gets knocked off the edge. Now after doing that once, there is now a can of spinach on that upper level. So we can just keep pushing Bluto off like this uh, as many times as we wish. You know, as long as he's not pushing us back. So, you know, you kind of want to jump back sometimes to dodge. Uh, so yeah, you can keep doing that and kind of just keep uh, getting points that way. Uh, but eventually what happens is that can of spinach will get uh, all the way to the edge and olive oil will kick it off and if we can grab it as it's falling, Popeye will then become super powered and give Bluto a true final blow which will allow us to save her. Now playing this again with my index finger is a little bit difficult. I understand that because we're zoomed in you're seeing like every slight movement of the Game & Watch there. But yeah, when you see his hand come up, that's when you kind of want to move back so you don't get punched just like that. Uh, there's nothing really stopping you from, like, doing a thing like that where it's, you know, left, right, left, right, left, right. Again, you know, it's easier to do if you're actually holding it. And especially with the, uh, you know, the panorama screen ones, if I just held it, it'd be very hard to get a good angle on it. And there you go. So we want to keep doing that again until that spinach is pretty much like right at the end. And then we're going to catch that and give Bluto a massive blow. So this Game & Watch was released August 30th, 1983. And for reference, the Famicom came out July 1983. So this is actually, uh, you know, the Famicom is actually older than this Game & Watch, which is kind of cool. Uh, Popeye also has like a really weird history with Nintendo. That's what happens when you get knocked off there. We got a miss. Uh, where there are, of course, various Popeye games on Nintendo systems. The NES has one, which is, of course, based off of the uh, Popeye arcade game. Uh, but one really interesting story is that originally Donkey Kong Arcade was designed with Popeye characters in mind. Now, you want to get that spinach? No! So we're going to miss it, which means we're unfortunately going to have uh, to try again there. 
So I think after we defeat him, that uh, can will come back. And then, like I said, yeah, you really want to get that to kind of finish him off. You get a bunch of bonus points. But yes, the original Donkey Kong arcade was created with Popeye characters in mind, where Donkey Kong would be Bluto, Pauline uh, would, of course, be, uh, you know, Olive Oil, and Mario would be Popeye. Uh, but for some reason, the licensing didn't work out. And they ended up changing it to where, you know, they used Nintendo's own characters, Mario and and all that such, and Donkey Kong. And just think of how history would have changed if that actually had been a Popeye game. Nintendo has just, of course, referenced that original Donkey Kong uh, arcade so many times. Now, let's, let's, you know, let's do our strat here. Like there. <laughs> That's what we can do. I, uh... I normally look through the kind of camera, you know, preview window when I play the Game & Watches, but that's not working out so well here. So I'm actually looking at the, you know, the actual Game & Watch now, and that's helping a little bit. I just hope that I don't, you know, lose center for the footage. Oh, Alright, so you're gonna kick that can down anytime soon? She might have to get closer to it again, so I guess we'll just defeat Bluto here. Again, I love the uh, attempts to recreate the music with the, um, you know, with this, the beeps and boops of the Game & Watch. It's so cool. There you go. See, I want to get the strategy down. It's not too hard. We're already almost at, like, 200 points. That'd be worth a star if this was Game & Watch Gallery. It is a shame that in the Game & Watch Gallery games, I never really had the chance. Here comes the... Let's finish. I got it! And there you go! So that's what it looks like to actually save uh, Olive Oil from Bluto. But yeah, I mean, of course, none of these games really could have been recreated in the Game & Watch Gallery games because it would have probably been licensing issues. They could have just, you know, named it something else and brought the basic concept back. This obviously would have really worked well with, you know, Wario and Mario with Peach or something like that. Uh, but, yeah, if you want to play these, you kind of had to, unfortunately, get the actual thing. And as I said, so uh, it's the same in mode B, except you do get that swordfish coming along the bottom where if it stabs you, uh, it's going to push you back. So you have to also account for that. And this continues until eventually you get three misses. And it does appear that, you know, as you progress through the game, Bluto begins to take more hits before you can knock him off the edge. So you know, I got to really pull out that back and forth strat there. Oh no! Yeah, there you go, twice in a row, nice! Again, I just love the music, it's so classic. Popeye is another one of those characters. It's funny how a lot of the characters that you see, um, featured in Game Watches, like, uh, Snoopy and Charlie Brown and such, even Mickey Mouse himself. It's not like you see him too much unless you literally go to Disneyland or something like that. Wow, 199 points, let's get 200 and then I can probably, you know, sleep satisfied tonight. There you go. Didn't get rid of a miss, though. Alright, and I think everyone understands mode A well enough. Can we just switch to mode B instantly? Or do we have to, like, you know, quit out? Alright, yeah, we can't, uh... Alright, let's see. Let's see what happens when we get game over. <laughs> Popeye just standing there letting Bluto come in and get him. I feel kind of bad. Does anyone else feel kind of bad when you... You know, you just kind of want to get back to the menu or something like that, so you do a sacrificial death. Really, there's no, like, game over sound, really. Interesting. We thought there was. Okay, so game B. Which I don't think needs too much of a demonstration, as people will quickly see. And the swordfish starts coming in again. It doesn't really do, like, a full poke through the hole. You can kind of just, you know, tell which one it's theoretically supposed to be po uh, poking through. And yeah, you don't want to be standing on that one when it stabs through, but we'll do it anyway. And so he kind of gets, you know, poked in the butt, and he jumps back just like that. But otherwise, the game proceeds fairly similar, where the point is to beat Bluto, and he's a little bit more difficult right off the bat. Uh, but otherwise, it's the same game, with a higher difficulty. So, so I hope that everybody enjoyed checking out... Uh, 
you know, the Popeye Panorama Scream Game & Watch. I had, again, a lot of requests to look at a Popeye Game & Watch, but at the time, I didn't own one. Uh, but now I do, of course, you know, right after Game & Watch month ends, hopefully everyone, uh, you know, who wanted one got their hand on the Super Mario Brothers 35th Anniversary Game & Watch. Uh, because, you know, I know there were a lot of people looking forward to that. And I have to say that any stores that I have been to since it came out have actually had stock. It's not like it's a super difficult item to get your hands on and you have to buy it from scalpers for like $200. So if you want one, uh, definitely check your local video game stores, maybe even like Walmart and such. Uh, and you just never know what you might find there. All right, let's save olive oil and we'll probably call it a day. Um, well, that, not, not if that happens. Gotta really pull out the, the back and forth strategy here. So yeah, when you're at the edge, you can actually lean back so that he can't punch you. So that kind of, you know, negates the, uh, you know, not being able to make an actual step back. So it's not like if he pushes you up against the edge, it's just instant death or something like that, which is kind of nice. Nice. All right, one more time should do it. Now she should be able to kick the can to us. So did it, uh, anyone get kind of, you know, tricked into eating spinach as a kid because of Popeye? Not that there's anything wrong with spinach. I actually love my, you know, vegetables and such. I didn't need any convincing to eat them. Spinach was always kind of like so-so. I would never, you know, jump over hurdles or anything to get spinach on my plate. But if someone put it there, I guess I wouldn't complain is what I'm trying to say. Now, eat your veggies and grow up strong like Popeye is what they used to say. <laughs> now you tell that to a kid and you're like, what the heck is a Popeye? Oh, but yeah, it's a really cool game. I hope that everybody enjoyed checking it out. These panorama, uh, panorama screen game watches are just so interesting. They're so strangely designed. I would be so scared to you know carry this around and actually use it as a watch or an alarm. Uh, and actually, speaking of that, let's try out the alarm just for just for fun. And again, I can't believe there's no game over music. Of all the other music this game has, they they really cheaped out on the game over stuff. So yeah, let's set the alarm. I got my toothpick here. And let's see what we got. So, what time is it right now? It's 12. Uh, okay, so 4.13 a.m. So let's set it for like 4.15 a.m. So we're going to press that button. Which then brings up this screen so we can now set the alarm. For some reason it starts on p.m. We can set this to 15. And as you can see, another Popeye character, Sweet Pea, I believe, uh, the baby between the two, uh, has appeared and they will ring the bell when the alarm goes off. So just like that, the alarm is on now because you see Sweet Pea up there and when it hits 12.15, the alarm will go off. So let's see if we get any kind of special Popeye music for the alarm or if it's just generic beeping. We'll know in two minutes. So as you can hear, it's nothing particularly special. And normally what I've found is that alarm sounds are kind of consistent between the different models of Game & Watches. So like other Panorama ones will probably sound similar, where you know various widescreen models will probably sound similar as well. I'm sure there's some variation to that that some people can point out, but unfortunately I've never found a case where like the alarm sound is specific to that game in some way like the mario game and watch doesn't play the mario theme for example and as you can see here the popeye game and watch doesn't play the popeye theme it's just a very kind of generic alarm to get you up in the morning <laughs> you know i guess you know would you want to wake up to the popeye theme you know maybe you would it'd actually be kind of cool get you ready for a strong day so i guess you could just press time now and wow you can't even just press time now what can you press do you actually have to press the alarm button Maybe it just kind of stopped eventually. Oh, it didn't seem to want to stop. I don't think you actually have to like press the alarm. These buttons are kind of you know tough to get at. You just need the toothpick. And of course, ACL just kind of puts you back to uh, factory settings where you can set the time again and all that stuff. But with that said, that is the Popeye Game & Watch. I hope that you enjoyed having a look at that. Uh, thank you so much again to everyone who enjoyed my Game & Watch videos. I had a lot of fun making them, so it means a lot to hear that a lot of people had fun watching them. And with that, I think we'll probably take a little bit of a break from Game & Watches, and tomorrow we'll have something different for you all. So thanks, and hope to see you then. Thank you so much once again for checking out my videos. I really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like and subscribing as it really helps my channel out. With that said, Hope to see you next time.